Hey guys, I'm here today with Sophia from TNI. We're at the Ministerial of the WTO. The Ministerial is the highest decision body of the WTO. And it allows civil society to participate, but only in a very restricted manner. And we want to find out what this means. And I have an expert here, because Sophia is from Argentina, who hosted the last Ministerial in 2017. And she's been on the ground and she's been around in Geneva with us and she's been inside the W2 as far as we could go as civil society. So she's very eager to explain to us what does civil society participation in the WTO world mean and why um, we should um, reclaim our space within the WTO. That's exactly right. The WTO, first of all, it needs to be mentioned that it's the body where the rules of our economy, of our capitalist system, it's, it, they're being made. So it's a really important place where discussions need to be taken. So that's the main important thing that we need to understand. The second thing is that companies generally, they're um, invited to some of the meetings and they're invited to do some lobbying within the WTO, but civil society not, if we don't have a special invitation to do that. But in the, in the previous years, the civil society could enter the WTO at the ministerials at least to make some lobby and to hang around and to do our thing, you know, just like show our messages and stuff. But since the ministerial in Buenos Aires, the government of the former Argentine president, Mauricio Macri, well, he banned civil society from entering and a lot of, uh, a lot of activists were banned and some of them were even deported to their countries, which was really violent and really terrible. I was the one, I was one of the banned folks in, at the Buenos Aires ministerial. And we thought that that was the one thing that happened, but apparently it's not because in this ministerial, First, they told us, okay, four people can enter from each NGO, and we all got ready, and we all got prepared, and we signed up for four people from, from each NGO. And before the ministerial started, they were like, no, no, just only one can enter, and the rest can like hang around on the NGO center, which is far away from the WTO. So actually, you are not really there talking to uh, negotiators and to the press. So it's kind of really complicated because this is becoming normalized, the fact that civil society cannot get in. And they're talking about multi-stakeholderism and how important it is to have all the stakeholders at the table. But the truth is that the only stakeholders that are at the table are corporations and not civil society. And this is a fact that we are experiencing here in the WTO and other institutions in the UN. So. This is really important that we take account, that we take into account, and we start protesting as civil society because this is outrageous. This is the place where the rules of our economy, our global economies are being made, and the civil society doesn't have a voice inside. Thank you, Sophia, for these insights. I think this was very enlightening, and we'll keep you up to date. Thanks Thank for you. joining. Bye-bye.